India is considered as one of the largest growing energy consumer and also the third largest greenhouse emitter has put the green hydrogen as a center for the strategy for achieving net zero emissions to 2070. Hello everyone, this is Pratyusha. Welcome to Law Excellence. In this session, we are going to discuss about the green hydrogen in India. Why it is in use? What is the national green hydrogen mission? What are the advantages for the green hydrogen? And the challenges concerned with the production of green hydrogen way forward and a practice question. Now when you see why this green hydrogen has been in use. Recently, we have seen that Indian railways have inaugurated or successfully done a trial run related to green hydrogen powered train in Chennai. Now this marks a significant uh, impact in milestone reaching towards sustainability and the clean energy solutions in the transport sector in the Indian railways. Now when you see what is this green hydrogen? Now green hydrogen is a hydrogen that has been produced from the renewable energy that is where we find the solar, wind or hydropower. Through the process of electrolysis, we will be producing the hydrogen gas. Now this is where it is considered as the most clean gas of all the types. Or when we see the different types of hydrogen that have been present, we have different color coding method has been there. Even though in many competitive exams, we have asked about the different hydrogen where, which process and what is the emission count that has been present. Now when we see first one green hydrogen, it has been coming through the electrolysis of the water where the byproduct is the water heat and the water is what being coming. Then we have the fuels. Based on the fuel, the renewable energy also, we have different color coding is being present. For example, it is coming from the nuclear energy, it is the pink hydrogen or the purple hydrogen. If the energy is being taken from the solar energy, then we will be getting the yellow hydrogen. And next, we have a blue hydrogen that is being present. The blue hydrogen will utilize a process called steam methane reformation gasification process where it will be using the natural gas and the coal. Whereas when you see the tortoise hydrogen here it will be using the pyrolysis method from the natural gas. Then we have a grey hydrogen where again steam methane reformation is being utilized from the natural gas. Then we have brown hydrogen through gasification process of the coal. Then we have black hydrogen with the gasification from the coal. Now when you see what is the emissions that have been released by the different types of hydrogen that has been utilized. You can see the black hydrogen is the highest that has been present. As we are moving, the green hydrogen will have the zero emissions of the greenhouse gases. Now let's see what is the functioning or the apparatus, how this hydrogen fuel cell is being present. Now when you see we have uh, three different things that have been present. One we have the anode, then we have electrolyte, then we have the cathode has been present. Now here in this hydrogen fuel cell, we will be utilizing an uh, electrolyte called nephron. Now this is where we are, it is a fluoro uh, compound where it has been utilized or it is a very good conductivity for hydrogen and the oxygen. Now what happens, the water has been sent, electrolysis, breaking down has been done due to the electricity. Now this electricity has been coming from the renewable sources. That's where we have solar, wind, nuclear power plants have been present. Now where the hydrogen ions will be moving from the anode to cathode region, positive to negative, then the byproduct that has been produced is the water and the heat. Now let's see what is the national green hydrogen mission that's been present. In 2023, January, there is a launch of the national green hydrogen mission. Now what is this? Now this is what we have been trying to increase the production of uh, the green hydrogen around 5 million metric tons of green hydrogen. It means that large amount of uh, energy is being produced from this one. Then not only this, this green hydrogen mission is having an outlay of around 19,444 crores where it is uh, likely to develop 60 to 100 gigawatts of electrolysis capacity in India and uh, this production of 5 million metric tons of green hydrogen would be requiring 125 gigawatts of renewable energy. Now when we see the total installed capacity of India uh, by November 2024 20, is around 456 uh, gigawatts. Out of this around 217 gigawatts 
of energy is been coming from the thermal power plant. Uh, generally, we say 71% of our power production is been coming from the thermal power plants. Then the, we, are have, we are trying to increase the amount of renewable energy sources in the installed capacity also. Now, this is where we find the green hydrogen mission will be taking part. Now, what is the benefit of the green hydrogen? Why there is large amount of focus has been present in this green hydrogen? Now, when we see the advantages. Now, first advantage we see, now before only we have spoke, it is having a zero emissions of the greenhouse gases. So, it is an alternative for a clean energy. Then it also helps in achieving India in self-reliance. As you can see, the green uh, hydrogen mission is reducing almost around 1 lakh crore of import dependency on the fossil fuels. Not only this, it has been creating almost or it will be reducing almost 50 million metric tons of carbon dioxide reduction in the atmosphere. Not only this, it will be generating around 6 lakh jobs through the plants, manufacturing, electrolyte uh, capacitors, etc. Now, when you see it is a versatile compound where green hydrogen can be utilized in the transportation industry, in fertilizers, then the power generation sector. It also supports the renewable energy integration by storing different. Uh, so, we have the problem with this uh, renewable resources. Integration with the traditional uh, electricity grid is a problem. Now, this problem will be solved by the green hydrogen mission. Then it also boosts employment, innovation, industrial competitiveness. But every mission, every uh, thing will be having certain amount of challenges that have been present. So even this uh, green hydrogen and the green hydrogen mission is having certain amount of concerns. Now this concerns is largely related to the production that has been present. Now when you see the first concern, the first concern is the high cost of production. Now when we see the cost of production for the green hydrogen and the cost of production for the grey hydrogen, whereas the green hydrogen will be almost around uh, uh, 6 to 8 dollars per kg of production of green hydrogen. But whereas when we see the grey hydrogen that is being present, it is around 2.5 to 3.5 dollars per kg. Now can you see the large amount of gap? or large amount of cost that has been involved in producing similar amount of uh, energy from different types of hydrogen. Then we have electrolyzer technology. When we see uh, the developed nations like the China and the USA have already been reaching 15 to 20 gigawatt of electrolyzer capacity annually. But whereas when we see India is targeting 25 gigawatt of uh, electrolyzer uh, capacity by 2030. So there is a large amount of gap regarding the electrolyzer technology that's been present. And it also requires a significant amount of renewable energy as I told for production of 5 million metric tons of uh, hydrogen, green hydrogen, we will be requiring around 125 gigawatts of renewable energy. Then there is a problem regarding the storage, transportation and the infrastructure because hydrogen is having large amount of uh, flammability is being present and is having low density. Small changes in this density also will be creating large amount of reactions. Then we have water intensive process. So this uh, electrolyzer has been utilizing the water where water has been broken down into the ions. Now this also has been having large amount of water dependency has been there. Already there is a large amount of water scarcity has been present in the country. Now what can be done so that the green hydrogen potential can be utilized by India. So we see first we have to try to invest in the R&D, the technology that is being present regarding the electrolyzers. Not only this, instead of using important minerals like platinum that has been used in this hydrogen fuel cells, now we can uh, substitute it with the nickel and the cobalt. Now we have to have the cost of the electrolyzers should be decreased, uh, investment in the R&D should be increased. And also we have to promote the public-private partnerships in this green hydrogen. You can also be in, in current affairs. We have read that Adani Group has the, uh, was the one of the private organization which have started the production of the green hydrogen. Then we also have to uh, develop a large amount of green hydrogen corridors. Not only this, we also should increase production linked incentives regarding the electrolyzer production. Then also encourage the international collaboration with technology transfer and global market access. 
Now, through all these uh, uh, reforms, we can create or we India can tap the 10% global market in the green hydrogen. So, let us see the practice questions regarding the green hydrogen. With reference to green hydrogen, consider the following statements. It is produced using renewable energy resource through electrolysis of water. The only byproduct of green hydrogen fuel cell is water. India's national green hydrogen mission targets 5 million metric tons of annual production by 2030. So do comment the correct answer in the comment section. There is also a main question that has been given. Discuss the significance of green hydrogen in India's energy transition. Examine the challenges in its large scale adoption and suggest measures to overcome them. Now the session that we have been discussing, now we can start this answer. Now we can write how green hydrogen has been important. Now we can say a uh, little bit data about the energy release or greenhouse uh, uh, release of uh, India in the data that has been there. Then we can relate it, the decrease of greenhouse emission, the dependency on the energy sector can be reduced with the help of the green hydrogen. Then the second half of the question. You have to write or highlight the challenges that are being present with the large scale adoption of the green hydrogen and also the way forward which has been covered in the session. So with this the answer can be written with enhancement and uh, do follow these all data and the instructions so that the means practice will be increased. We will again meet with an interesting video. Thank you.